Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another 10 Forward Weekly. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, my name is Mike Fatum. Uh, I am your community manager. I'm also known sometimes as Ambassador Kel. And uh, this is 10 Forward Weekly, a stream we do every week where we talk about uh, everything to do with Star Trek Online, um, except for upcoming content. Okay, um, so how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, as, I'm, as you may or may not notice, uh, there's no one else here. There will be later. Uh, I was supposed to have uh, Jeremy on at the start of the stream, but uh, meetings and such. Uh, so we're going to go and show you guys some cool stuff um, while we're waiting. And then uh, we'll have him and Ryan on to talk about uh, the Discovery tutorial and about uh, some updates to random task force operations. So uh, without further ado, why don't we look at some fan art? All right. We only got three things of fan art this week, so I'm very disappointed in all of you. Again... If you look down here, right here, right here, there it is. Uh, if you email ambassadorcal at gmail.com with your fan art, your videos, snipey, I'm looking at you, you keep complaining that I don't show them and then never send me one, uh, they, or your fan fiction, we'll do dramatic readings on the air. Wow, I just went completely out of focus. Uh, okay, Twilight Zone, there I am. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll do readings on the air, we'll show them off. I love showing off the stuff you guys do, it's all really cool, so... Send me your things! All right. Uh, first up, from Tyrion J. Kirk, we have this really cool shot of uh, the Crossfield class, also known as the USS Discovery or the USS Glenn, hanging out in Earth's space dock, looking really fly. Um, Tyrion also sent me an idea in his, in his email with this screenshot uh, that is far closer to the truth than he might think. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell any of you what it is. Only he gets to know. Ha 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 ha! Uh, and, of course, this week we once again got uh, some ideas for new starships from Duncan, Idaho. Uh, looking at a uh, Star Starfleet Emergency Response Vehicle and a Starfleet Long Range Exploration Vehicle, uh, both of which would work perfectly uh, in deep space, as long as you're a tardigrade. That is 100% the only way these ships would work. But, you know, they're piloted by tardigrades, so it's okay. Actually... Someone with physics uh, tell me, I don't think you could do a hot air balloon in deep space because <laughs> hot air doesn't rise. I think you'd just get hot vacuum, which sounds... No, let's not go there. All right. Uh, let me just minimize this. Okay. Well. Let's see. Oh, Nebshake, I might have lost him. Uh, if you sent me screenshots a couple week in, weeks ago and I didn't see it, um, or we weren't doing screenshots that week or something, uh, fire him off again, and I'll put him on the air. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joshua Johnson, no, I cannot send you my email on your Facebook. It's it's right here. AmbassadorCal at gmail.com. Just send me an email, and I'll, send you, I'll put your stuff on the air. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Lord Christos says, a hot vacuum. That sucks. I like it. I like it. Um, Mar Hawkman, picks sent on Twitter is not the correct way to send them. Plus, you called me a whiner, so screw your picks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Primar13, uh, nope, didn't send, didn't get anything from you. Uh, not great gamer PNW wants to know where he got this shirt, which the shirt is, of course, the uh, official STO shirt from STLV two years ago. Uh, which is, you get them at STLV two years ago. Uh, that's, that's what happens. Focus! Focus! There we go. Uh, Ash Wallace has just realized I've had a haircut that I've had since last spring. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, buddy, wherever you've been. Uh, Mar Hawkman has just resent his pick. Alright, hold on. I will, I will get it on the air right this minute. Because that's how much I love you guys. And also because I'm stalling. <laughs> because my guests won't be here for another hour. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, hold on. We're putting this in the folder. And this is from Mar Hawkman. Or Marco Price. All right, let's go back to fan art. Any minute now. There we go. So here we have a lovely image of, I believe, the brand new um, Ambassador update, uh, which is the 
Narendra? I think it's the Narendra. Um, I think that's what this is. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. It's a good shot. Uh, Aaron Selter, I, I will do more than that. Uh, I'm going to need everybody in chat to sing along for Aaron Selter because it's his birthday. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aaron. Happy birthday to you. There you go. That's the shout-out to get. <laughs> Where are we at? We did not announce a tardigrade culling task force operation. That's not a real thing. Stop trying to scare poor Duncan. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Orange Titus, I don't know what name that ship is. You'd have to ask uh, uh, Primer 13. It is the Narendra. Okay, cool. Uh, sweet. <laughs> Drogon, I would love to do some Cleon opera. Someone send me some, and then teach me how to pronounce it. Uh, Alright, well, would you guys like to look at some stuff in-game? How does that sound? Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can make this work. Oh, that's working pretty well. Okay. So, this first thing I'm going to show you is not done. But we sort of announced it already, so I'm okay to show it. But just to be clear, this is not done. Okay? 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 Alright. <laughs> Here we go. Whoops. Hey there, buddy. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna run around? You wanna, you want some, you want some treats? I got some Starfleet officers for you to eat over here. Hey, come on. Come on, let's go over here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go down in here where there's better lighting. Oh, look at you. And since you're not done, you're going to run literally into me, aren't you? Okay, there we go. You going to do your thing? You going to do, do your cool idle animations? Because they're really cool. Don't stick your head under there. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, yes, so uh, just as a heads up... Um, that is the uh, the final model of the tardigrade. Um, what I've done is I've transformed one of our pets in game to him and his animations so that he can run around with me at our space dock. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny any vanity pet tardigrades, uh, but if I was to confirm or deny something like that, uh, you could imagine that it would probably be a bit smaller than what you just saw. Anyway. Check it out, everybody. This is the Malakowski. We announced this ship uh, last week. This is the ship... That uh, will be the starter ship for all Discovery captains. Oh yeah, and you got a peek at some of the Discovery UI too, which I believe is still a work in progress, but um, it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Duncan Idaho, uh, I will give you a definite maybe on the Tardigrade becoming a Foundry NPC. I have to see how much work I have to put into that, but maybe. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, if we have the ambassador class that we got the mission reward on, can we use this skin on it? Uh, no. Um, you have to actually buy the, the, uh, Narendra class, but then you can use the ambassador class skin on the Narendra, which is not what you were asking for, but it's, it's what I got for you. Uh, this is a, I can actually show you that, I think. Um, now, uh, keeping in mind that I am not, I'm on the internal dev server right now, which is not on, as far as I know, the latest build. So any stats you see... Uh, will probably be wrong, so I'm not going to hover over any tooltips, uh, just as a heads up. Um, but this is a light cruiser, the Malakowski. And we're pulling away before anybody starts reading out stats, because those will come later, I promise. Uh, but I don't know if they're 100% done, and I don't want you guys to, you know, start spreading it all over the reddits. And have everybody get mad at me when they're slightly different. Uh, can we see the underside of the ship? Yeah, I'll fly around her. Let's see. So you can see that she's kind of... Um, a uh, Discovery Era Miranda. It's actually not an original creation of ours, like some people thought. Uh, this this ship did appear in the Battle of the Binary Stars, uh, although briefly. Uh, I think Discovery made like 20 new classes of ship uh, for that battle. Um, 
Thomas, uh, of course, modeled this guy based off the in-game uh, model. And uh, he couldn't make it up to the stream today, but he did send me this to say... Uh, so it was mainly seen in the Battle of the Binary Stars. John Eves designed it and named it after a test pilot. Eagle Moss gave us some great reference for it. So there you go. That's half an hour of Thomas Chatter condensed into 30 seconds. <laughs> but she's a pretty ship, isn't she? Uh, yeah, I think this is... Um... Oh, did I freeze on Facebook? No, I can see myself still going on Facebook. Uh, so this is not actually a Reliant skin. Um, so for everybody who's saying, oh, can we use this... Uh, with our Reliant, will interact with the uh, Reliant. Uh, I don't believe it will. In fact, I'm pretty sure it won't. Um, this is a, a very specific um, for Discovery ship, uh, and I, I don't believe it was set up to be customizable with the Miranda. Um, maybe something we'll do someday, uh, but I know that would be a huge amount of work for poor Thomas. Let's go around and see the back. Again, this is based on um, an actual model from the show. So this is... Uh, one of the nice things was that um, CBS actually sent us some of the... I don't think they sent us this one. I think this one we made ourselves. But um, for some of the things, like the Crossfield, they actually sent us the, um, the CG model they used. And then we were able to, uh, to update and bring it into the game. Uh, Anthony Roberts, yes. The Malakowski is, in fact, Tier 1. Um, uh, because she's a starter ship. Uh, let's see... Uh, will, Kirk, will Kurland have a cameo in this new content? No, because he hasn't been born yet. Uh, he hasn't even been conceived yet. Which, don't think about that too hard. Uh, he, so, no. Uh, no Kurland here. Not for, not for Age of Discovery. Maybe for later content involving Discovery. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, somebody was asked, somebody answered later this fall, which leads me to believe, uh, when will Discovery come out for consoles? Uh, on the usual cadence schedule, uh, so we just announced today that Discovery is coming for PC on October 9th, so you can expect uh, console the usual chunk of time after that, so you guys know how, you, how long you had to wait for Victory is Life, about that long. <laughs> Uh, Jason Cortec, uh, I haven't heard of new camera bugs for consoles, so if there's an issue, uh, send me more details than just we need a camera fix, because uh, I can't fix that otherwise. All right, let's see. Um, oh, SFC100 is saying the Discovery UI is a much bluer color palette. You are correct. Uh, we have done an entirely new Discovery UI for uh for age of discovery um again i don't know how much of this is final it should all be final um i believe that work was done already but yeah you can get a look here um at at least an idea of what discovery ui if things will look like and i'll uh maybe i can bring this up i don't know see i promise i don't know what i can click on because i don't know what's what's in progress on this build and i don't want to show you guys something that's not ready um <laughs> can i flip my hair uh Sure. All right. I hope that's satisfied. Uh, Lee Fenton, can we get Q content? Yeah, twice a year for the anniversary and the winter uh, thing. Uh, in terms of discovery, probably not anything soon. Um, I think if we ever added more Q content, we'd want to put uh, John Delancey in. Um, and we just haven't done that yet. Okay. Uh, let's see... Uh, Fusion Dragon, uh, thank you for letting me know about that. I'll put it down in the notebook. Okay, Lucari, Drink Scout, too much hull. My pen's broke. Okay, there we go. But we think that's a cool t tool tip thing, not an actual thing. All right, a bunch of people have sent me... Uh, uh, fan art emails, apparently, so I should go and dive into those. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Nebshake says the Disco UI reminds him of early STO UI, but much better. I agree. Um, yeah. And this is just such a pretty ship. The thing is, like, the Disco designs... I've been referring it to Disco for a while now. Um, it just roll. It rolls off the tongue. It's like, it's, it's like just saying Voyager... Really just saying Discovery is what I should say. But anyway, the, the designs for these ships are really, really cool. Just really, really nice. Um, and it's nice that they have so many of them because it gives us a lot of 
ships to work with. Um, uh, I can't tell you much about what he's made, but Thomas has had superstar 3D modeling artist Tobias Richter working overtime uh, on Discovery ships. So, uh, some more to come. Uh, Kyrian 42, I don't know what the, uh, the can't, why the camera distance will reset. I, that sounds like a programming issue, but I will ask. <laughs> uh, Tiffius, um, I believe disco ships do have, uh, but don't quote me on this, the ac accurate warp out animation. Um, I'm not sure if it's on this build, so we'll try it, but if it's wrong, that's, you know. Oh, well, it's not going to show me, because I, okay. Sorry guys, my bad. But you get to see the new beam out animation, beam in animation again. Isn't that cool? All right. Um, so, one more thing I wanted to show you, just briefly. Uh, not much I can again I can show you of this because I don't know what all is ready. But a little bit of what you can expect from Discovery uh, uh, character creation. This is the new character creation screen for Discovery. As you can see, it switches back and forth. You know, like it does with all the others. You click on Dominion, you get that cool backdrop. You click on Discovery, you get this neat Discovery era backdrop in UI. Uh, the people, a lot of people are asking about what races you'll be able to play as. Uh, to begin with, um, with la this launch of this Age of Discovery content drop, it's humans, Vulcans, and Alien Gen. Um, the, uh, we're, we are always in talks to add more. Um, and there's definitely a possibility for things like Andorians. Uh, I know a lot of people were interested in the new Saurian look. Uh, we didn't... Uh, we didn't get a look at them until that trailer dropped, uh, so we're not, uh, we haven't have time to put them in yet, but that's, these are the options to start with. Um, and a lot of people were asking about Kelpians as well, I don't know if you saw my comment on Reddit. Uh, official directive from On High, and by On High I mean the people who make the show, uh, is that uh, Saru is the Kelpian in Starfleet. He's the only one of his species uh, to make it that far, and I don't think, um, uh, I think more details of that will come in his short move, short, uh, miniseries movie thing that's coming later this year um short is short trek um but we don't have those details right now but anyway that means no kelpian bridge officers or kelpian captains right now um we might convince them to let us do it in 2409 later uh i'm sure that's something al is working on but we will see uh declan lowry yes you do get a free discovery uh, character slot for discovery we just uh i just confirmed that today Uh, the Firepuff, I don't think we're putting Discovery uniforms out for free again. We had them out twice for two weeks at a time uh, for free, so uh, I think, you know, uh, that's probably the end of that. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, no playable uh, Discovery Klingons for now. Um... There are Discovery Klingons. You saw them at STLV. Um, it most likely what will happen with them um, is that they'll be added as a, um, a wardrobe option for 2409 Klingons so that you can make your 2409 Klingon look like a Discovery Klingon should you feel inclined. Um, as I have answered many times, but I know a lot of people are afraid of this, we are in no way ever going to force Klingons to become Discovery Klingons, nor are we going to force, force people who like Discovery to be uh, you know, 2409 era Klingons. Um, it's up to you. Play what you want to, want to look like. That's part of the fun of the game. Space Barbie is the true end game. Uh, Nebshake90, uh, there are some plans for the um, uniform, uh, that the Enterprise uniform that we see in the Season 2 trailer and that we're going to see more of in Season 2. Um, for right now, what I think we're working on is making it um, so that the collar is color customizable on this uniform so that you can make that yourself, uh, or at least a, an approximation of it. Um, we may make a more accurate depiction of the, Star, the uh, Enterprise Starfleet uniform at a later date. We are looking to do more veteran rewards, who asked that? Uh, let's see. Uh, will there be Discovery Shuttles? Yes. No more details on that right now, but yes. Oh, interesting. Uh, Dan PMK, I will check on that. Uh, Allied Escort and 
the galaxy pack. Now, you didn't break that pack, did you? Because that would make those invisible to you. Galaxy pack not on console. I'll check that out when I get back to my desk. Um, so, orangitis, I have to talk to character art about that. Um, I'm not sure why uh, there isn't a full white option uh, for these guys. Let me, you know what? Okay, now all of this might be broken. I may be about to make a terrible mistake. Let's find out. Okay, so if we want to make her white, white, white. Looks like it's still kind of gray. Okay. Um, I will chat with character art. Wait, here's white. Uh, yeah, still kind of gray. Um, I'll talk to, character art, talk to character art about that. That is a thing I will do. The other nice thing about this is that you can get your colors for your Discovery uniforms right right out the gate because you get them. Um, do not take anything you're seeing here as finished. I don't know what options will be available for your Discovery Captains costume-wise, um, and I don't want you guys to think that it's whatever it is you're seeing here. Uh, Lord Inquisitor Tazarin and everyone else who is asking, uh, Jim Hadar Veteran Rewards are coming, but um, probably not before Age of Discovery. Um, probably not for a little bit after either. We're working on it though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ryoga Habiki, is there any word on tying in the Picard miniseries with STO? No. Um, because they're, we don't, like the Picard miniseries, they just assembled their writer's room, which by the way, if you guys have seen the writer's room, uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, Michael Chabon's in there, and he's amazing. Um, uh, so, uh, fingers crossed. Um, we'll know more about that soon. CBS will tell us more. Um, we had a meeting with them a couple weeks ago where they dropped a ton of cool info on us, that none of which I can tell you about, uh, but nothing about the Picard show yet. I think because those stories aren't written yet. Um, we do know uh, that CBS has... Uh, a lot of information from us um, on the world of 2409, which is a few years um, after where the Picard series will be set. Uh, whether they choose to use it or not is up to them um, and up to those writers, but um, we're hoping it ties in a bit. Um, obviously, as more stuff starts coming, uh, we will incorporate it into our game as we can. Uh, again, it always kind of depends on what the show is. You know, what Patrick described... Uh, Patrick, because I'm on a first-name basis with him. <laughs> what Patrick described at STLV... Uh, sounds more like an introspective, like, quiet, character-driven show. Um, and so I'm sure we'll see things like starships um, that we can use, uh, and maybe there'll be some plot bunnies we can pick up, um, but it may not provide a lot, depending on what it is. We'll see. Uh, Bradley Dolahy, yeah, once Age of Discovery drops in two weeks on October 9th, you'll be able to start out with a Discovery ship and a character. Uh, Renee and Arbiter, this stuff isn't on trouble yet. I'm looking at the dev, dev server right now. Uh, Firepuff, maybe. Um, like, so he asked if uh, STO is, is maintaining canon. Uh, it's definite maybe. We're going to be working with the writer's room uh, for all those shows and with CBS and with John Van Sitters very closely. Uh, but they are the arbiters of canon. Uh, and if they decide something we did isn't canon anymore, it isn't canon anymore. Um, and, you know, that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles for licensees um, and stuff. Also, I just unironically un used the phrase, that's the way the cookie crumbles, uh, which is, who boy. <laughs> uh, Kevin Milligan, uh, no, it's not, this, is not, this is not a red shirt either. Uh, Ras Rasolasu, right now there is not going to be a T6 version of this ship. It is just the Tier 1 uh, ship for Discovery Captains. So if you want to fly it, make a Disco Captain. Yeah, we are doing a triple update right now, but it's not uh, to include this stuff. Although this stuff might be visible, but I don't think so. I think they hit it. <laughs> uh, Orangitis, that would be amazing. I don't know if they will. We've sent them some of our ships. Uh, Law, Street, um, Law Street jokes that uh, the new Picard series will just be Picard uh, in a wine yard yelling at his brother about uh, and a cooking show for, uh, you know, 16 seasons. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I would watch that. I would watch a lot of that. 
Uh, Paul Briggs, what class of Federation ships do you get to use? Um, well, you start with the Malakowski. Uh, there's a ship that we haven't talked about yet and won't be for a little bit. Um, and then, you know, from Discovery, there's also the Walker and the Crossfield uh, that'll be coming and available to Disco Captains in the same way they're available to everybody else as part of the Infinity Lockbox. Uh, in terms of other ships, I mean, I don't want to give away a lot of the story, but uh, we wouldn't want our Discovery characters to not have access to the same ships as other Federation Captains. Uh, and I'll just leave that at that. Oh, right. Picard's brother's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Commander Darjeeling. I can't answer that. You know I can't answer that. Why would you ask things I can't answer? <laughs> uh, Premar 13. Can we see the Walker Bridge from the blog? Um, so... Uh, there's two problems. Uh, one is I don't know if any of these ships are... So, like I said, I don't know what build I'm on in engineering. Um, so I don't want to show you guys something that's not done. Uh, B, um, for the Crossfield Bridge that we showed some pictures off of, right now it only exists as a map for um, Secrets, uh, one of the early missions. Um, and so uh, you can't... Uh, like, I can't run through it without spoiling parts of the mission for you, which I don't want to do. So, sorry. <laughs> Shane Hammer wants real ships in real life. You know how you do that? You go to our ship, uh, ship editor and you hit 3D print this ship. And then you get a real ship in real life. Uh, yeah, let's go to fan art. Good idea. Let's see. I gotta pull it off the internet, so give me a minute of babbling. All right, we got some. Let's see. Oh, three. Uh, VCMD Propulsions? Who are you? Why did you send me this stuff? Oh god, is this a virus? Am I about to get virused? Okay. Well, that's weird. Alright, I'm not sure what any of this is. Uh, okay, we've got a bunch of screenshots from Alistair, so let me get those downloaded. This is why I prefer to get these before the show, so no one has to stare at me entering text. What? Well, let's just go back to just people. So you can stare at my beautiful face. All right, one more email to go through. Okay, let's pull this stuff up. It's fan art time! Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Coming up for, yeah, Joe Black, I need to trim this thing. It's, it's out of control. Um, I actually prefer to keep it close cropped, but this is what we got. All right, first up, from Dylan Schumate. I hope I got that right. We have this really cool ship of the, or really cool picture of the Connie uh, orbiting a moon somewhere. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. And then we'll send, Duncan Idaho's got two screenshots from his new Foundry mission, which he told me the name of, and I forgot. Epoch Part 2. Uh, oh! The, the conclusion to a mission we played on stream a while ago. Um, I'm very interested to check that out. I really like what you did with those crystals. And here's the second screenshot from Epoch Part 2. Which is using, I think, some Romulan architecture to make a really cool looking alien world. That's neat. Alright, while I'm here... 
just going to shut down this. Uh, okay, so uh, from Alistair Morden, we've got a bunch of cool shots. Uh, this is of one of the Miracle Worker ships. I can't tell quite what, what from this angle. No, it's not. I'm sorry. It's from the Excelsior, uh, which is awesome. Really cool looking. Here's another of the Excelsior flying through a blue nebula. I really feel like I should sun myself on the deck of that ship. Another angle of uh, Excelsior class. This time flying over Ryza, I think. Nice, nice. And we've got the crew, which are all all TOS Vulcans who look exactly the same. That's not creepy at all, bro. That's super not creepy. And finally, one of my favorite shots in the game. Uh, I could look at this all day. Look at that beautiful ship hanging there in space. Mm, so pretty. Best ship Star Trek's ever made. Fight me. All right. Um, well, we got another half an hour until my guests show up, so why don't we uh, update Holodeck, which may take a minute, so I'll answer some questions, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive into some ham sandwich adventures. Yep, we got a patch holodeck. Okay. How's everybody doing? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, is there Discovery Sector Space? Um, I think I can tell you that yes, there is. Hope I don't get in trouble for that, but yes, there is. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Lord Christos says the D7, the Katinga, is better. Uh, you are a very correct wrong person. <laughs> uh, are we doing a disco ball oh jeez you're making a joke but now I kind of want to throw an in game social event that's just a dance party for discovery characters called the disco ball that would be a lot of fun maybe I'll do that uh, let's see uh, nebshake90 that's not a question for me um, that's a question for Jeremy he'll be back on he'll be on later so maybe you can bug him about that uh, Commander Darjeeling, uh, go away. <laughs> no, I love you. But we, uh, you know, uh, discovery ships for the next foreseeable future. Then maybe we'll get back to doing T6 versions of old ships. Let's see. I've got, ooh, I've got like 32 new comments on Facebook that I'm missing somehow. Oh, the warp core froze. Oh, no. Hold on. It must not have been set on play forever. Play. There we go. That just means the ship is about to explode a little. Just a little. Uh, our fortune cookie triple is going to make a comeback for di uh, Disco. That's a good idea. Uh, Jos Josiah Neal, we've talked about um, how to get you guys the Wrath of Khan uniforms. Uh, that's on the docket. Uh, I don't know when, but, you know. Someday. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Derek Collins, will we ever get in-game all the stuff we ever asked for or ever will ask for? No, because some of the things you guys ask for is crazy. <laughs> uh, yes, Discovery character, uh, Cody Smith, Discovery characters will we get at level one. Um, the Discovery stuff, uh, we're making f specifically kind of for new players. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff for new players in the game right now because as we're tying into Discovery... There's a lot of new fans who may not have played the game before, or may even be new to Star Trek, who could who are discovering us through that. So we want to make sure uh, they have an experience that takes them through the game. Uh, the Gem Hadar were more about the uh, level 60 players who just wanted to create a new alt and jump into it. Um, MMO Reen 1992. The more stuff you send me about clipping issues for certain uniforms, the more I can tell the character team and get it fixed. But um, it, you know, it, it's probably a lot. There's nine years of stuff. Um, there is no solid answer on whether the temporal that we want again. Uh, not even a, I can't talk about upcoming content. Uh, we haven't talked about it in a bit. Uh, I'd have to go down and talk to Jared about it. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to guess 
No, because if we haven't started on it now, it's actually a ton of work to get those recruitment beds running, but um, don't quote me on that. Uh, Thomas Marment, um, or yeah, Marment, uh, uh, we uh, are always looking into uh, you know doing new bridges, but um, like I've mentioned on the show before, uh, it takes a lot of work time and a lot of work. Uh, it's um, about the same amount of work uh, or more as creating an environment for a new episode. Uh, and so we kind of have to balance um, what we put our environment team on. Um, <laughs> the fire puff wants to know if engineers can get genetically modified uh, to run the spore drive. Uh, not at this time, but you never know. Uh, Warrant, I, I can't answer any more questions about content I may or may not have teased earlier. Uh, so, maybe. <laughs> Lord Inquisitor Tazara, do you want to fly churches in STO? Just big old cathedrals? Um, sure, maybe. Uh, Ronaldo Colon, you can use your current D TOS disco tune. Uh, yeah, you can use him for the faction he was created for. So if he's created in TOS, um, he'll still be a TOS captain. If he's created for 24th Century Federation, he'll still be that. Uh, none of that will change. That's true. We do have the sarcophagus. Which is basically a Terran, uh, Imperium of Man ship. <laughs> MMO Reen, if we're putting Warhammer 40k ships in, Necron ships first and forever. Alright. Um, is there a chance of customizable transport animations? Uh, probably not in the near future. Um, it's something we can always look into. Um, but uh, it's pretty likely it's bound into you, the character so that's why you know you use one kind of beam for your captain and others for your bridge officers um you might switch it or be able to switch it around so that all your bridge officers use your captain's beam but i don't know how much work that would be i imagine a lot <laughs> Lord Inquisitor Tazarin, uh, of course I want you to fly, uh, f fly uh, Zeno's ship. Space Marines suck. Fight me. STO Admiral Aaron has exploded in the chat room, guys. Uh, so I'm going to need clean up, uh, clean up on aisle two. Uh, race Shadow, you missed it earlier. Uh, playable races for Discovery right now are humans, Vulcans, and alien gen. Uh, so, I mean, alien gen, so technically, you know endless but um we'll be added looking to add more as time goes on not necessarily guaranteed that we will but that's the plan yeah starburns uh like i said earlier uh the new saurians uh we didn't get a look at until the trailer just like you guys so um there wasn't time to put them in for this there might be time for later we'll see uh you're welcome duck and idaho Let's see. Uh, Dale Briggs, are we getting more realistic starship interiors? Uh, somewhat. You can see in the pictures of, um, I think what you're, what you're talking about is the, the giant uh, hallways from when the game first launched. Uh, you can see that most of the ship interiors we've made recently don't look like that. Um, there's some new ship interiors uh, uh, coming with Discovery, uh, not just for the, the ones that you've already seen, um, without saying too much more to spoil it. Uh, Chris Dupree, no, there will not be Cajuns. Sorry, bro. At launch. There might be later. Uh, let's see. A lot of the um, people are coming into the stream late and asking questions about character gen. Uh, watch this video when it's on demand, or if people in Facebook and Twitch chat could just answer those when they come up. Uh, I don't want to be repeating the same answer for the next two hours. Um, SGO, I'm Ryan, no, I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any uh, news in the foundry right now. Uh, Snake CL, not yet, but those both those things are things we're looking into. Um, he's asking about the bionic implants we see on uh, bridge crew members in Discovery. Uh, both of those things are things that we want to add to the game. I don't think they're launching with Age of Discovery. 
Uh, Disco, will Disco kits be unique or will they be reskins? I don't know the answer to that question. That might be something to ask uh, Jeremy later. And I don't know if we're able to talk about that one yet. Uh, Graham Bowers, if I forgot to upload last week's stream to YouTube, I will do it tonight. Um, or, no, I won't do it tonight because I have to go pick up my daughter like as soon as the stream is done. Uh, but I'll do it tomorrow morning. Um, so Nebshake90, uh, the idea of if we were going to make sea store ships or low buy ships um, account wide, it would probably work with the Gemhanar ships where it's a, um, a new mastery level. Uh, it's something that Jeremy's talked about and experimented with, but no decision has been made one way or another. Oh, yeah, that's true. I do have news in the Foundry. Sorry. Thank you for reminding me, Duncan. Um, the uh, Victory is Life challenge that we started about a month ago um, has uh, had its voting process begin. Um, there's, I think, 18 missions that you can play and vote for your favorite. Uh, all, that, all the information on that is on StarTrekOnline.com and on our official forums. Um, and it's, it's great. The missions I've played so far have been amazing. Um, you guys are really, really knocking it out of the park. Uh, the winner gets a really, really cool prize. They get their choice of a tier, tier 6 R&D promo pack so, uh, ship. So, um, yeah, go and uh, uh, check that out. Play those missions. Uh, they're really cool. Let's see. What did Chris ask that Matthew Kleinman answered yes? Let me make sure. Yes. Yeah, you can. If people were asking if you can play uh, the Discovery story with your um, your current tunes, uh, your current characters, yes, you totally will be able to. Um, all of the missions uh, that we release in the Discovery era will be playable um, for your current captains as historical simulations. Uh, kind of like how the Gem and R play everything that isn't there, isn't the Victory's Life stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, expect that. It's going to be cool. Um, you won't be able to play the tutorial unless you make a Discovery character, but that's not unusual. Uh, Anthony Milhorn, um, I don't have an answer. I know you were correct that the Discovery starting equipment will be accurate to the show. Um, whether that stuff will be upgradable and available at higher levels, uh, I don't know for sure off the top of my head. Um, I don't know that we've made any specific... Um, well... Huh. More information to come, I think, is the best answer to that question. Uh, guys, I can't do any spoilers for stories, so questions like, is the Discovery character you make an agent? I can't, I can't answer that right now. Uh, true Nefor, uh, I can't answer. The Discovery tunes won't go through Agents of Yesterday. Um, uh, that's about all I can answer about. <laughs> uh, Tiffius, stay tuned. <laughs> who, who is this Shane Hammer guy in Facebook chat? And why is he emailing me stuff about... Uh, you know that Star Trek Online is, is fiction, bro, right? Right? Okay. Uh, is there a chance of Disco Mirror Universe uniforms? Uh, with this Age of Discovery drop? No. Uh, but we heard you. Trust me. Everybody knows how much you guys want those. Uh, and I have been har harping on that for ages now. So, um, yeah. Uh, wait and see. <laughs> not for you, STO, uh, or Aaron, not for you. Uh, John Callen, we have thought about that. Um, the reason we don't is just because it's... Um, I don't. I think the overhead to have the store up and running and print things is probably not... It probably costs more than the demand would be, um, which is why we usually just print shirts out for events and give them away for free. Um, but, you know, it's maybe something we look at, look at more in the future. Uh, Steggy 20, 2012, I don't have an exact, exact answer for you on number of hours of content in Age of Discovery. Um, uh, the first drop is, uh, this one is coming, it's, it's about the size of what we used to call a season release. Um, it's actually a little bigger than that, because it's got the tutorial and the two episodes we've announced. Uh, and then, um, 
you know, after that, there will be more and more episodes added uh, at the usual time and task force and things like that. So the number will change and grow. Now let's see if I can put my, extend my feet out without kicking out the mic cord. I did it! Success! Hooray! Uh, let's see. Uh, Warship Voyager is an often requested ship, and we are aware of that. Um, just not something that's on the cards right now. Lots of requests for Tier 6 or worth. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, Lord Christos. Uh, yes, um, there is... Well, I don't want to confirm that there's a Discovery reputation coming, because uh, while we are planning on doing a new reputation um, as part of this release, eventually, uh, as part of Age of Discovery... Uh, I don't know for sure that it'll be Discovery related. It might be something else um, because it's still in the planning phase. So, um, yes, there will be no, more new reputations. What they are, I don't know. Um, and actually, I don't even know for sure that I can 100% confirm, yes, there will be. But that's currently the plan, unless, you know, something changes wildly and drastically, which can happen. Why is just this section? Oh, it's the, okay. The window light is hitting the green screen and making it do weird things. Photonic Kitten, thank you very much. Glad you're having fun. Uh, Bubba Hotep Zero, we're looking into that. Um, it may be... Uh, yeah, there's that's long and complicated things. Uh, Steggy 2012, the 250,000 XP for Tier 6 still stands. Um, uh, we're obviously going to be watching as you guys play and seeing how long it takes people to do things, and we might adjust. Uh, but as of for right now, that was the number it will launch with. Uh, STI Admiral Aaron, uh, because I can be wherever I want to be, I run this show. Deal with it. Uh, Commander Darjeeling, the referral system is interesting. Uh, haven't thought about that one in a while. Uh, I'll talk to people. Uh, Firefly Zero Zero, if by the tactical variant you mean, um, the, uh, uh, Discovery Vest thing, um, that would not be rolled into a package. We would, uh, distribute that separately. It's a separate costume. Uh, Timothy L. Gregory, a shuttle would have its own hangar if it had much, much smaller ships. <laughs> I don't think we've... That's not, that's not a spoiler or anything. I just was answering a question. Uh, True to four, let's ask Jeremy about that when he gets there. Um, there isn't a definitive answer on uh, what will happen to reputation tokens as I remember it right now. Um, I think they're still working that out. Uh, Lord Inquisitor Tazurin, um, what main engineering would you like to see with the 10 forward stream? I've got this one. I can always make more of these uh, looping videos. I've got about, how many motion backgrounds do I have now? I've got DS9 Promenade, DS9 in Space, this engineering, the Lucari Bridge, Kronos, Quarks, uh, Ryza, and the Earth Space Dock Shipyard. So yeah, if there's another, if there's another backdrop you guys want to see, um, I guess let me know, uh, and I will take requests. Uh, Vegeta, I can reconfirm that Kelpians will not be playable. There's a lot of reasoning for that. I've posted it about it and read it and talked about it earlier on the stream today. Um, but the basic reason is uh, Saru is the Kelpian in Starfleet. He is the guy. He has the only one who's made it to Starfleet. Um, whether more have made it in 2409 uh, is a question that is up for some debate still. Um, and I think, again, more information about that will come in Saru's short track that's happening later this year. Uh, no, Galen, I don't think Discovery characters will get bonuses from Disco Balls. Uh, Darren Williams, James Tully, it's something we've talked about, having a, a like a practice range where you can um, just fire your ships at drones uh, to get damage numbers and stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's a huge priority to make, um, but, you know. Uh, 
Uh, John Chamness, if you're genuinely curious about Discovery Bridge Skins, um, perhaps you should take a look at StarTrekOnline.com. Uh, there's been a few teases in the last couple of days in blog images. Tim Fiegel, yeah, you're fine. If you have a Discovery uniform, you still own it. Uh, okay, a bunch of people want a Voyager engineering ma uh, background. I can do this. Uh, Nebshake90, no idea. Sorry. Uh, Tiffius, I would probably die uh, if Doug Jones uh, showed up in my recording booth. Or not my recording booth, in our recording booth. Um, hold on. Has, it ever, has everybody seen my Doug Jones picture from STLV? I don't know if I posted it on our official Twitter. I may have to pull that up real quick and show it to you guys because it's just the best. Uh, let's see. It would be... Here it is. That was an easy find. Thank God. So yeah, I got in line to get a, and paid uh, to get a, what, what was on the sign as a selfie with Doug Jones. Uh, and this is what happened instead. <laughs> he climbed me like a tree. It, it, it was amazing. It was one of the best moments of my life. Uh, Altred, no, no playable changelings yet. Uh, True Nef4 wants to know if AOC was my idea or CBS's. What what's AOC? Uh, hello, people who are saying hello in Twitch chat. Uh, Lord Inquisitor Tazurin, uh, no, I did not need an adult. I was perfectly fine. Uh, Thomas Marmons, that sounds fun. I don't know if it's something we'll add uh, anytime soon. But uh, Kevin Pierce, there are new Discovery ships coming, but I can't talk about what they are yet. We did show off one at the beginning of the stream, um, the uh, uh, Malakowski class. Uh, so that was fun. Here, let me... I'm going to go into Holodeck and see if I can hang out with you guys in-game. Oh, True Net 4 meant Age of Discovery. Um... So, I don't know, I'm not sure what you mean by was it our idea. The uh, story of Age of Discovery that we're running, we wrote and then sent to CBS for approval. They gave us some thoughts back, we changed some things, and then they approved it. So that's kind of the process of how that worked. Uh, Richard Signorio, uh, that's an awesome idea, uh, having, you know, be able to pick from voices of your captain in cutscenes. Um, that would be a Herculean amount of work, I'm pretty sure, and I'm not sure it's on the cards right now. Uh, Streaming Hawk, when is the next lifetime subscription sale? Soon. TM. Oops. All right. Let's get into game here. I've already run my breach for the day, so I can't run it with you guys. Oh, good. It's already there. Uh, Lost Street wants to know my favorite ships in each expansion. Um, you want, like, all of the expansions? Uh, here, if you're around, come hang out in the first city while we're waiting for people. Um, I'm in first city number one. Uh, well, from Victory's Life, it would probably be the, um, uh, the Jem'Hadar Carrier. That ship is amazing, and I love it. Um, from earlier expansions, I wasn't at the company, so I don't really have a favorite uh, ship. Because um, I didn't play it, so, you know. Oh, Vegeta 5241. Um, the idea to include Discovery was ours. Um, you know, like we keep saying, the uh, opportunity to be in a... Uh, uh, <clears throat> to be linked up with a currently airing uh, Star Trek show is an amazing opportunity and not one we wanted to pass up, so... Yeah, I did it. All right. <laughs> uh, Orange Janus, I don't have my dino yet. Uh, so I'd love to show him off, but I don't have him. If somebody else wants to come to Kronos and show me their dino, 
uh, I will be happy to check it out. Uh, is someone trying to join me in the fire? Uh, Will Pace wants to know where I got this gun. This is a low buy store weapon. It's the Zenkethi uh, retrofit assault cannon. Oh, there's a dino! Hey, dino! Yeah, you're so much better than Neverwinter's dinos. Yeah, look at you. I'm gonna come over here so people can see him. No, he's gone! What did you do with your dino? Bring your dino back! Why? Why would you take the dinosaur away? Stupid Matrix cloak dude. <laughs> Four minute recharge and my instance is already full. Oh yeah, no, my instance is full. Well, cool. This is a targ. Pretty cute targ. She's not a dinosaur though. Not a dinosaur. There he is! Oh, look at the dinosaur! Look at how cute he is. Look at how much better he is than Neverwinter's dinosaurs. Stop moving around so I can look at your dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So those of you who don't know, this is the reward for completing uh, the Breach 14 times uh, over the course of the event. Um, no, bye, dinosaur. There's another one. Um, he's amazing. He shoots lasers from his mouth. I'm going to name him Fluffy. Fluffy Adon. Oh man, yeah, definitely. I have to, because uh, uh, it's an account unlock, I have to get one for Ham Sandwich. And then have Ham Sam the Adventures of Ham Sandwich and Fluffy Adon. It's very important. Oh my god, it's a Jeremy! What you up, dude? Lie. I lie? Can we just show off this stuff? It looks awesome. What is stuff is it? The champion's stuff. Oh yeah, I know. We gave that away at a <laughs> costume contest last week. That's original champion's concept art. How do I enter for that kind of stuff? Uh, you have to not work for this company. Well... I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth that. Uh, hold on. Let me pull up a Jeremy name tag here. <coughs> what up? It's Jeremy. Are Look we on the that. internet? You are on the internet. And I told people to come and hang out with me in game and show me their dinosaurs. So this is what we're at. Uh, because Very this is so cool. Dinosaurs. Yes. So cool. Uh, it's, I know you had to approve this, but whose idea was this originally? You know, I really want to say mine, but it was probably. But Rob's, I feel right? like it was probably just me taking credit for something else. Yeah. Uh, but I'm their boss, so it it was me. <laughs> well, I know Rob built him. Yes. Uh, was it Rob's idea, or I, who do I thank for this, Jeremy? I don't know. It was the systems team. Keep better track of this. Okay. We can say it's definitely not Matt because he's dead to us now. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't stop leaving. <clears throat> they only last like a minute. Unacceptable. I want forever dinosaurs, Jeremy. We actually, uh, well, I don't know if I should say this. Say we, it. We almost also included a vanity version. Yeah, I remember talking to Jet about that. But then we thought that that would diminish the impact and the coolness factor of having just the combat version. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, dinosaurs everywhere, Jeremy. I, How else will we prove our our establish our dominance <laughs> over the Neverwinter dinosaurs? You know, I if we don't all have velociraptors running around, it could have been an incorrect mouse. decision. <laughs> I have been wrong. Uh, today, about a dozen times. People keep telling me that we have small raptor pets, and yes, I do yeah, too. Yeah, and I love our small raptor pets. Where is he? Where implemented in uh, with the bot block box, and you can get them on the uh, on the. There he is. Look at him. him. He's hiding behind all these vastly superior dinosaurs. <laughs> I love you, buddy. You'll always be my favorite. But Daddy needs a big <clears throat> dinosaur now, and Daddy is really close. Oh, so close. I have to not miss another day because we've extended it twice. I can make it. Buy it. Yeah, but money. <laughs> You know we give you I'm, free money, right? I know. I, I, you know what the weird thing about this guy is? So this is a, we're letting a little, little bit peek behind the curtain here, folks. But the way we have, because of, you know, they don't want us to abuse um, uh, free zen. Um, the way we get that. It's also for accounting purposes. Right. So. Um, the way we get that is we have to fill out a form and hand it in person to our executive producer. Mm -hmm. And I can't. My anxiety brain is like, they're going to think you're a weirdo. It's you want money than, in the uh, game that you work on? Andre kind of relishes giving judgmental looks when you ask for I know, that. I know. But then he turns around and says, you're only asking for this much? Do you want twice as much? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wraith Shadow wants to know, and this may be so not something you can answer. 
Uh, but apparently our Age of, Age of Yesterday kits were reskins of Federation kits. Are Disco kits the same, or are they new, unique kits? Um, they are the same. Um, as, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that this is an accurate statement as I make it. I believe that any changes that occurred to them are, um, are changes that occur because you are a Discovery character mm. casting them. Okay. Uh, activating them. So, like, visual changes, but mostly the right. same kits you get to starting Federation character. Uh, in the same way that both the Federation and Klingon technically use the exact same, like, support drone. Right. Um, it just kit, looks different. But the thing that they summon looks different. So, for anyway. Discovery characters, if there are differences, we tried to do that as much as possible at the power level, uh, at that activation level, rather mm -hmm. than having to make an entirely new type of item that you have to obtain. And is that power level over 9,000? Um, most of the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. Uh, That's a see. high bar to hit, so... Uh, Smedley wants to know if you can have my gold. No, you can't. Uh, <laughs> John Sparks Jr. thinks we get enough uh, uh, free stuff to buy ourselves an Anorax. That's that's silly. I buy an Anorax. Well, yeah, but you had to... Does he mean in real life? Oh, yes, definitely. Because I meant in real life as well. Oh, yeah. That's how you get to work. <laughs> yeah. I fly my Anorax. Yeah. It's, it's very unfortunate. We try to call Jeremy when it's on its way to, to work. It has to bounce off six uh, I'm not referring lights. to the ship. I'm referring to Red Foreman, the actual person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's one of now those. I'm imagining him from uh, 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 that '70s show. Right, yeah. Ryan, come in, sit in the other chair because I, I made your name tag so Ryan was sitting in between. Oh, yeah, switch. Should, should we swap? Yes, nah. we have to swap. You'll be Ryan. I'll be Jeremy. Nope, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jeremy, you're gonna have to scoot in probably a lot, like usual. Because mm -hmm. three is the maximum number we can fit in here. Ryan, get closer to me. You just need to like snug put the uh, webcam on like away. that wall. Yeah, that would work. I was looking at um, well, I showed you, but I was looking at how Critical Role mm -hmm. does their setup, and I don't actually understand how they do it because they have cameras like right next to the cast at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, they must just have really wide lenses on they those do. things, which They're just like total fish eyes. <sighs> I wish I had money, guys. <laughs> so, hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Uh, we showed off a little bit. Ryan is here to talk about the uh, Discovery tutorial, which he worked on. Um, uh, we showed off a little bit of Discovery character creation earlier and uh, the Malakowski. Uh, and Jeremy's here to talk about um, some random TFO updates, which we'll get to later. Um, but, and reps. Uh, I figured I could answer. Like, oh, yeah. If there's any tier 6 rep a. questions, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fire that our way, too. Um, yeah, Jeremy's an expert on reps. Yeah, yeah. Works out all the time. So. Mm -hmm. Reps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, this dance party is amazing, but I'm going to move us back to here. See, look how much closer you can get to Mike compared to how uncomfortable I'm making you. You aren't making me The thing is, if you try and play, play affection chicken with me, you will always lose. No, yes. I am the most affectionate man on the planet. I'm pretty affectionate, too. Yeah, As a, who, was the, who was the star at STL? That CLV that you were afraid that you made uncomfortable? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Why would you... Uh, it, was, it was Mary Tifo. Um, we, we'd had a lovely conversation, and uh, she walked away, and I went for the hug, and she had obviously been going for the handshake, and she, like, she hugged me, but she definitely kind of was like, oh. Uh, and that way that I was like, oh, God, I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. That was, actually wasn't... So there was more than one. That wasn't the one I was thinking Oh, that wasn't what you were yeah, thinking of? Oh, was... God, there was another one? Oh. Might not uh, have been you. Somebody was getting like all up in your business, and so you hugged them back. And uh, it, oh yeah. no, no, that, that was, wasn't that no. wasn't a discovery star. No, that, that was that was, uh, from that was a trip. Oh. Oh, not trip. Yeah, no, yeah. it was uh, um, a helmsman. Yeah, right. Yeah, because I was talking right, to someone, right, right. and he yeah. he he like came up and started like pushing me, like, like and body. rubbing up against me yeah. uh, as I think a joke, and so I hugged him, and he freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> I apologized to him later. He said it was totally fine. Right. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we all need long Slavic beards. Uh, I Hug, hugs are a dish that. best served cold. This is my yeah. best beard. Uh, STO Admiral Aaron, you cannot get a kale hug over the internet. Uh, my hugs are warm and loving, but uh, you don't not hug, virtual. You don't want to hug the uh, webcam? No, I'm going to knock something over if I try. I've got the mic cable. Everything. I'm going to knock over the monitor. It's going to be... It's not Mine's worth the joke. Over. All cables are the mic cables. Uh, Tim Fagel, are we going on the cruise 3 in no. January? No. Everyone make your sad face. We don't get to go on a cruise. I almost bought my own ticket, though. <laughs> almost. I did not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just as a... Like, as I, am, a I am hoping for one day that, like, PW will send us. Uh, Photonic Kitten, I am glad to hear that uh, you identify with alive. me so much. Uh, but if I may go full California for a second, you probably shouldn't use the term spirit animal. animal. It's really appropriative. Uh, used for turnips. Anyway. Um, uh, fake appropriation. 
Yeah. Much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's nerd appropriation. That's, 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 that's faux appropriation. <laughs> that's, that's wizard appropriation. They're appropriating they my culture wizard culture. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, there was a question that I wanted to... Oh, um, does anybody know if we're bringing back the Temporal Recruit event for Age of Discovery? There was talk back and forth. Has there been a decision yet? It's still being talked about. Okay. No so decisions have been No made. decisions have been made. Exactly what I said a while ago. You All can right. call me Jon Snow before I know nothing. That's been established. Ryan, you want to tell us a little bit about the Discovery tutorial experience? Not really. Well, do it again. <laughs> um, so... Hey, Ryan. All I can think about is the, the problem that we've been... Oh! <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Because things like these amuse, this amuse me. Why would you? What? You did it on camera. Yeah. The world knows you're an abusive communities <laughs> manager now. Only, only to the content, only to senior content designers. Congratulations, thank, by the way. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this man got promoted. It's, it's right there. Yeah. I changed. I changed your title and everything. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I and then I slapped it. you in the chest. That's yeah. Yeah. The good with the bad. All y'all saw what he did. <laughs> Don't worry, HR's not watching. Yeah, uh, but but they they all know. Augmented Dictator Games wants to be a content designer. You missed you missed that. We were hiring one, but we found one. Um, you just want to get slapped in the chest by Mike. Yeah. Uh, well, Sir Boulevard says well. Ryan's puns are his Patronus. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my Puntronus. Yeah, pun. There you See? go. See. There you go. <laughs> um. Uh, anyway, tell us so, about the discovery tutorial, Ryan. <laughs> So uh, this takes place um, shortly after the battle at the Binary Stars. Um, so you weren't there. Uh, <laughs> still you're, you're still in the academy. Yeah, you're still in the academy. Um, but you might be thankful that you weren't. Yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody died. Yeah, I mean, you pro you would have been a red shirt at that. Point. A lot of people got slammed into by a ship, a Klingon ship that is basically a knife. <laughs> mm hmm. Um. That no. That that that. Uh, that ship had a nice cleavage. Well, folks, it's been a good stream, uh, but Star That's Trek well Online is canceled now. <laughs> Ryan's joke was so bad that this game is canceled. <laughs> um, so you're graduating. It's it's uh, it's. I mean, there there for people who have played through the uh, 2409 Federation tutorial, there will definitely be a lot of things that you find very familiar. Uh, There's a reason we keep calling this a reimagined starting experience and not a new starting experience. Right. Yeah. But I think that we like we've definitely tried to like add a lot <clears throat> to make it feel more discovery, mm -hmm. um, which you know is not always the easiest thing to do. But I think we actually yeah. did a pretty decent job of pulling it off. Yeah. There was also a um, at the company meeting last week. Uh, they showed off what a cutscene looked like in the uh, Federation tutorial mm -hmm. and what it now looks like with Weston having gotten his hands on it. And you guys are in for a lot of treats. Yeah. <laughs> There's some good stuff. Um, it was ridiculous. Yes. And if, I'm so glad we have him. Honest, I know. Honestly, I'm hoping that after uh, Age of Discovery <laughs> goes live, we can actually put up the video that he did so with all the hilarious sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> we did that with his um, de new death animations video mm -hmm. uh, with the GTA wasted thing on it. Yeah. So yeah. I think we should definitely uh, yeah, look yeah, at yeah. that. Ronnie Jackson Jr. said no with all exclamation points, but I don't understand why. Uh, anyway. It was probably in response to Ryan's pun. Maybe. We'll that makes sense. assume that. No. Yeah. Um, so, Mighty Master 000, um, one thing he doesn't get is why we keep uh, adding new starting experiences to STO. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, when we added the Romulans, they were adding a brand new faction, and they had their own story, and we wanted to tell that story, and it made more sense to play that story first than to play that story and then play through a whole bunch of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with the Agents of Yesterday. Um, if we want to tell a story in the TOS era, um, why would we tell a story where you play through the 2409 stuff, then play TOS stuff? It would seem weird. Um, with Discovery, it's a little bit of a different uh, thing. I talked about this earlier, but um, Discovery is bringing in a lot of new fans to Star Trek. Um, I know a lot of our old-time fans are on the, you know, Discovery's killing the franchise, but uh, the actual numbers about the show are the opposite. Um, and a lot of those people, we hope, are going to come in and join Star Trek Online, and we want them to have an experience uh, starting the game with the show they know and love uh, mm -hmm. before they get to experience all the juicy, wonderful 2409 content um, that we created. From kind of a, a broader perspective, like any long-lived MMO goes through cycles of yeah. appealing to new players, yep. existing players, new players. We try as much to mix that up, but yeah. every update generally has a focus on one or the other. Yeah. And 
the, Victory is Life was an existing player. Age of Discovery is a new player. Right. Right. Now, with Victory of uh, is Life, it actually broke the mold a little bit because we did a new starting experience, but it was still aimed at existing players. Right. Because it's only right. the one mission, yeah. and then you jump into level six. And, and it was, and, yeah, it was a starting experience as opposed to get you revved up. Um, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that if we're if we're trying to create something <clears throat> new uh, in a particular time period, and we want players to be able to make characters from that time period, we have to have something for them to do first, and it doesn't make sense for them to jump into 2409 missions if we want them starting in 2256. Plus, there's a there's some really good tie-ins to the the shows that we really couldn't get away with if you were too established in your career. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It just makes so much more story sense, which you guys will see as you start being yeah, able to yeah. play that concept. Yeah. Uh, I mean, one of the greatest things uh, that we have with this uh, new tutorial is we have a lot of Mary Wiseman. Yeah. yeah. We are hashtag silly for Tilly. Oh, mm -hmm. man, dude. I, I just heard, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but I saw a cut of uh, one of the trailers yeah. um, with her voiceover. And no, I know, it heard it's really good. I yeah, it's, it's, really it's real good. good. It's very good. Um, and I actually, you know, we have, we, we, we in our, our local uh, builds, we actually have uh, her VO now uh, in the game. And she, oh, time to play test some yeah. more. Yeah, right? No, she is absolutely incredible. She, I mean... One of the most natural voice actors I've heard in our game, for sure. But what's what's really, I think, special about um, having Mary Wiseman right now is that um, she's actually playing the character. Like, it's, yeah, you know, actively right act, now. Yeah, like, like, it was really cool having the, the DS9 cast, but most of them hadn't looked at a proper script yeah. for their character in, like, what, 20 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it takes them well, getting I, back into the character. Yeah, like, yeah Andrew uh, Robinson talked about it at STLV how he had to watch like six or seven episodes of Garrick to get get back in the head of the character before yeah. he recorded for us. Yeah. which is funny because he he, he is Garrick. Oh, like, yeah, like it's like I don't know. He slips into that character yeah. so easily, but. But um, which is not to say, if you meet Andrew Robinson in real life, like he's actually a super sweet, quiet, unassuming man. Like he's yeah, nothing like Garrick, but he things. slips into Garrick real easy. But apparently, he couldn't actually do any tailor work to save his life. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I don't think Garrick could either. Well, no, but I asked. I asked him. Like, I'm like, like so you're so like not because he was saying he's going to retire from like uh, his like professorship, and I'm like, yeah. so are you going to be a simple tailor? And he's like, I couldn't sew anything like ever. Yeah. Um, but no, like it's really cool. Like, like we we actually let um, uh, Mary do a lot of uh, ad libbing just because she's so comfortable with the character, mm -hmm. and she is amazing. Which, if you heard the clip we put out on Triple the other day, I think that's, I think that's where the whole, like, woo thing came from. I yeah. think that was just her. Like, half of it, yeah, half of, yeah. Half of that was probably her ad-libbing. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Like, yeah. she's, she's Which is, when you combine with the, the really good writing that Paul is already doing for her, because it's not to say, like, our writing was crap and she improv it into amazingness. Paul is doing really, really good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then you put I that on top whole, of a really good script with an actor and a thing. Team, yeah. actually. I'm, yeah, oh, team. sorry, sorry, yeah. But yeah. I mean, yes, he's in charge of the final polish pass and everything, but I, I've seen some of the early passes as well, and I think everybody's really getting into these characters. Sorry, I didn't mean to no. downplay Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, first, I, first, you down slap my chest. Yep. Then you downplay my, my talents. Yep. We'll see what the third down thing is. Yeah. So the discovery tutorial. <laughs> so I don't know how much more we can talk about. Um, we show. Yeah, um, I don't. I, so, so, you know. We will be starting at uh, at Starfleet Academy since mm -hmm. you are graduating. Uh, and some people have asked because we showed a picture of uh, Tilly at Starfleet Academy uh, with a slightly different time of day and lighting. Um, is that part of the map? Yes, that is. Yes. The new the new Discovery Starfleet Academy is at sunset instead of uh, noon. Yeah, we are we are sunsetting Starfleet Academy. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> this is why I slapped you in the chest. <laughs> um, and. <laughs> Um, Tilly will not be graduating with you because she is still a cadet in yep. in the mm -hmm. show, so that is not happening. Um, well, she's a total overachiever, which yep. is why she's yep. you know, teacher's pet and everything. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, <clears throat> let's, but yeah, like you won't be going to Pollux, you won't be fighting the Borg, uh, you won't be dealing with Vega. Uh, we we we've come up with things that that make more sense uh, for the discovery. Closer to the show. Yeah, yeah, the tie closer to the show. And um, I think they've actually, I mean, I'm biased, but I think they've turned out really well. Uh, from what but, I've seen, it looks it looks really, really cool. Um, you know, you mentioned earlier that a lot of the experience of what you're actually doing during the uh, doing the tutorial will probably be familiar for anyone that's yeah. played the existing Federation. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that has actually been a bit of a boon for us because it's allowed for us to, to explore more like where are we going to set this and how do we make it feel more discovery because we don't have to spend a lot of time worrying about what are you doing yeah what are we teaching we know we know what you're doing yeah just you know um, how, how are we wrapping the same yeah. experiences in a new wrapper was we could focus all the time on that instead booth yeah. b is no longer a hologram okay he's he's living and breathing he's an actual person now that's funny <laughs> big changes are happening yeah right there. huge huge, huge changes. changes huge the huge. biggest um <laughs> I will I mean, say I, I love the visual uh, overhaul of, of Starfleet Academy. Yeah. And I think it goes to show, uh, I don't know how much players will notice, but we have been trying to, to you know, pump up the fidelity a bit in a lot of our, our visual assets. And being able to do that with Starfleet Academy, especially the, the, um, the skyline off yeah. in the distance, mm-hmm. love, oh, love God, that yeah. update. So pretty. Yeah, no, it's super pretty. Um, like Scott Boyd's been doing in just incredible work with that map. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, Mighty Master Zero 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 um, wanted to know what ships are in the Agents of Yesterday lockbox. That might be a typo, but now I think we have to answer the question. Did we release a lockbox with Agents of Yesterday? It wasn't called Agents of Yesterday. Hmm. Was uh, what temp- lockbox? Was the temporal? Uh, uh, temporal lockbox? No, the undiscovered was temporal after incursion. Temporal, maybe the temporal lockbox. Temporal so it had some of the, the, the temporal ships temporal, in there. But it no. was a, there was a, also a temporal incursion. So maybe the temporal. Incursion. No, it was, yeah, it was mirror incursion. So I think no, I think I think uh, it was a temporal lockbox. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's terms of, in terms of what that's ships are in the uh, eight, in the lockbox coming with Age of Discovery, yeah, we haven't announced the lockbox <laughs> coming with Age of Discovery, so I don't know why you'd ask that question. It's it's it was two years ago, but that's like four systems years. But if yeah. they were asking what will be in the next lockbox, because come on, we're always doing another lockbox. Uh, we're not talking. <laughs> oh, about someone said it's the Nicole, the Nicole lockbox. Was or the, the, someone uh, else said the oh, Kelvin okay. lockbox. Uh, oh, I think actually Kelvin was with the launch. Yeah, that makes sense. Was then it had the Kelvin Connie and yeah. the Vengeance hit the Lobby store, right? And uh, that was it. And we had a lot of cool stuff back then. The D four X. Klingon right. pilot ra- yes. raider. Yes. The really, awesome. really fun ship to fly. So awesome. I just really love the uh, like the future versions of the TOS ships. Like the yeah. uh, the, the, fu- the, the future the future Daedalus, which is like the, the uh, Tron light cycle. Yeah. yeah. Just is such a cool looking ship. Yeah. Hey, you know what would be really cool? If we uh, we did some future updates of some Discovery era ships. That's yeah. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Nobody wants that. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what's more futuristic than like the crossfield? Uh, a lot of people are saying that uh, that they're something about tardigrades in Age of Discovery. What's I don't know why. I definitely didn't show anything the, like that. The, the microscopic, screen. yeah, the microscopic life forms that could survive in space. Those can't even show up in our show. Yeah, it's it would small. be so weird if somebody started a stream by showing one running around Earth space dock. That would be weird. Why yeah. would anyone do that? That would be uh, yeah. that would be strange. Uh, uh, can you play Klingons so. in this new Discovery thing? Not yet. Um, maybe we might do some Klingon Discovery content, but that'd be way later. Uh, we will, as I mentioned earlier, most likely be allowing current Klingon players to become Discovery-looking Klingons if they so choose. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as have mentioned many times, again, I get this question all the time, <coughs> we will never be forcing current era Klingon players to look like Discovery Klingons. Correct. That's not a right. thing. Right. Well, I mean... We could using like B critter or something. At some right. Point, if there's but... a mission, like okay. yeah, if we ever do like a play as Jula mission, a temporary. Thing, yeah, we, but we, we would never. Do yeah, but not permanent. No. No, I mean like we w- we wouldn't like do some form of surgery where we would put We're not you in a, the old looks. Or put you in a Klingon body and right. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be that weird. never happens in the shows no. either. Tiffius wants to know if STO will be translated in its entirety and clipped into Klingon. Uh, if, if you'd like to do that, as a, yeah. yeah. As a, as a fan, <laughs> if, if you'd like to do that as a fan project, we we will. Uh, if actually, if somebody volunteered to do that, we would probably be willing to send them the the, the text I mean, let's files. Not promise that? No, I, think that I said probably. <laughs> yeah, uh, and if they if they sent us back to click on things, I'm sure. Why not? I mean, we wouldn't change the audio files, but you yeah. know. I mean, the only problem is that it'd be really hard to actually look at it and know that it's accurate. Uh, Sentinel 1964 uh, wants to know if we can hope to get a new bridge for um, our Shenzo class. You can hope, um, kids. <laughs> kids, I want you to go to StarTrekOnline.com. I want you to do it right now. And look at the screenshot for the article that went live today. And then get back to me. Can, can we look at that? Yeah. Also, uh, I don't know, I guess, are you just not answering because you want to be coy? Um, because also, I mean, there's a bridge in the tutorial, so obviously right. a bridge. No, I just, like, I just like being coy because okay. I, I made this and I'm very proud of it. Um, and he really likes yeah. fish. And I like yeah. being coy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they've seen that and they've seen this. So they know both bridges exist and that we're making are them they in the game. They are they seeing us? Well, no. Yeah. It's a lot. The, the, no, but if you look at we're the... We're looking at pictures and they're yeah. watching our reactions. Yeah. To them. yeah. It's like those reaction videos that are so popular on the YouTubes. Mm-hmm. You should I hear be, that amongst the kids. You should be careful with being uh, <laughs> coy just because Wait it, for it. it Wait may for lead it. to carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh my goodness. 
kind of a stretch. But I oh, like, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. All right. It was a ride. High five. No. <laughs> You will be left hanging from now on. Uh, if Discovery runs for seven seasons, do we see STL moving in parallel for the whole journey? Um, we, we, we hope to last for at least another seven seasons, yeah, too. We, we t- <laughs> if, if Star Trek Online lasts for seven seasons, if Discovery lasts for seven seasons, I can see us. We're going to tie in. We're going to tie into Picard, the Picard show if there's stuff to tie in with that. We're going to tie into Short Treks if there's stuff we think is cool to tie in. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, with we, all of this Star Trek coming out, we're going to tie in as much as we can. Yeah, I mean, we, we're always we about tra- closing the door to the idea of doing no. another story. No. Right. If we ever want to do twenty four oh nine thing, um, I'm, well, we can. technically now it's twenty four ten. Yes, is it? Actually, it might even be twenty four eleven. Is That's it? Why I just refer to it as twenty fifth century, right? Because I've been told I've I've put twenty four ten in blogs before and gotten angry emails. So, well, it depends on where you are in the story. You have to have progressed to a certain point in the story. What part of the story time. becomes twenty four ten? I want to say Iconian War. Iconian War. Okay, like after midnight. Okay. Um, After midnight. So if you're a new character, we're gonna be like, in a and, new and to be fair, you're also the community manager. You probably get angry emails all the time. Right. Yes. Actually, I don't get angry emails much because most from people me. don't have my email. <laughs> yeah, I get angry emails from Jeremy. No, I get suggestion emails from Jeremy. They're just they're just full of passive aggression. It's yes. great. Dear Mike, could you maybe do your job better? <laughs> Love, Curland. <laughs> Dear Mike, have you seen what the Warframe community managers are doing? Now that hasn't happened in like a year and a half. <laughs> I think it was two years. Yeah, well, it was, it was when, I first, when I first started, it was definitely like the daily conversation with Jeremy about yeah. Warframe. They're doing this thing. We should do. You should do this yeah. thing. Not we. You. No, no you specifically. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Tiffia says in his heart it's twenty four eighteen. Hey, head cannon accepted, man. Uh, apparently, the Breen arc is in twenty four ten. I don't know. Uh, twenty four ten apparently starts with the conference on the Solanade Dyson Sphere. Okay, that also yep. makes sense. That does make sense. It's somewhere in that range. Yeah. 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 Uh, people want Wesley Crusher in. We want Will Wheaton in. Um, yeah. we, we've reached out to him before. The last time we did, uh, he was not interested in returning to the character, but that was 10 years ago. So um, we'll see. Maybe he'll yeah. want to come back. Um, he's definitely had, a, uh, I think, a change in his life experiences with that character since then. So you never yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Admiral Aaron says we need more explosions in the game. Uh, dude, I've been playing The Breach every day. We have so many explosions in the game already. I fly through like 30 on the way out of that ship every night. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, there's always room for more. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to take all the explosions out of the tutorial, but I guess I could put them back in. Please <laughs> put them back in. Uh, uh, Lord Christos, if Will Wheaton came to the game, we would never put a Shut Up Wesley moment in. Right. Because that would be, like, the most neckbeard thing we can do. Yeah. And I, I know I have a neckbeard right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, we would... I, I mean... It is very, very, very important for us to respect the actors yes. and the characters. Absolutely. So, um, and his, in his particular case, it touches He hates that nerve. stuff. He yeah. hates that stuff a lot. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things that... Um, Whereas on the opposite end of the spectrum, Picard, I've, I've heard John Luke actually... Uh, sorry, Patrick, Patrick Stewart, Stewart has done... Talk sh- about sh- the Picard maneuver, the, the yeah. shirt tuck yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, see, that's more funny. That's less yeah. of a... Like, uh, the Shut Up Wesley thing is a reference to, like grown men on the internet telling a 13 year old boy he should die right uh which is a s- sucky experience to go through especially because he was right yeah, yeah. Was, like, in, the, in the episode the shut up wesley episode yeah. he was right yeah <laughs> like it really is just showing that jean-luc picard is, is like a douchebag mm-hmm. yeah and, and 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 you know let's all be fair patrick stewart also did a shut up will to yeah yeah so so it might not just be the character uh but. Wraith Shadow wants to know if, uh, since Discovery is adding new characters to, uh, new actors to older characters like Pike and Spock, would we ever consider having those actors in the game? Yes, absolutely, 100%. Uh, We would love to have, um, I forgot Christopher Pike's real name, um, the guy from the Inhumans, Uh, um, and the dude who just got announced as Spock. uh, uh, Crap. It was so close in my mind I know they're all gone the no we'll definitely have to get him because well, we then, have we'll have, have, then we'll have three Spock I was going to say we'll have game. almost every Spock in the game I've said every Spock once on Twitter and then I got uh, angry responses uh, about the, uh, the young, young Spock Spocks in all the different Spock. episodes and search for Spock yeah. and like the, the, the movie and I'm like guys yeah. guys <laughs> you know what I meant <laughs> all the Spocks that matter we don't have the animated Spock <laughs> wasn't yes, that we, also was that was well, that was well yes voice wise but you well, know, well, yeah I know <laughs> Anson, Anson Mount, there it is. That that should be our. Yes. Yeah. That, should be, that should be our. That should be one of our next uh, April Fool's things. Is we just change. Every, we overlay everything as animated, like uh, cel shaded. Yeah. So it's uh, like un- unexpected. Bagel camera. actually had a really good idea. If we get Will Wheaton in, we should have a speak up Wesley moment. <laughs> <laughs> Louder, Wesley. 
We okay. can't hear you! <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, can we make it so the old DS9 missions will appear on DS9 as it currently is now? Yes, and we're planning to, but it's going to take a while. Yeah, yeah. that um, is not a trivial task. Yeah. Um, That's something we want to do, uh, it's it's going to take a while. I, um, well, one of the me. things, some of the missions we took out, um, like Boldly They Rode with the mission reflow, um, I think we would probably do that before we brought them back. Um Probably. Probably. I mean, that's all going to be case by case. Right? Yeah, that would be a really hard one to, to the external, convert over yeah. exterior. Yeah. Although if you make that exterior a little smaller, maybe the mission will be <laughs> a little more fun to play. I yeah. think what we need to do is make it so that every time you click on a, on anything, it says curl in here. Mm. Just every time you click your mouse. Over, overlay the entire yeah. UI. Curl, 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 curl. I think we need to, in the winter event, have a curl in here. Dude, event. we talked about curling. It's really hard to do. <laughs> and hockey. Mm -hmm. And uh, something else. Oh, um, contact figure skating. Did you ever see contact the, figure skating? Did you ever see the movie Men with Brooms? Yeah. What is contact it, figure it skating? It came out of some of the prototypes for curling and hockey, and it kind of turned into uh, ice-borne rugby. And, that sounds amazing. And none of these prototypes. It didn't work. Were. No, but that sounds amazing. Yeah, um, but from all of those ideas is where we got Klingon fishing because yeah, which it is, became a very great. Klingon themed thing over that yeah. time. Punch the ice, get a fish. Who doesn't love Klingon fishing? No one. What about like I mean, space everyone. curling? Space curling like is just asteroid tossing. Yeah, yeah. We have that in the Zenkethi thing already. Yeah, but you have to like get it as close as you can to like the target. That would be actually I mean, if we made them snowball asteroids. Tachyon sweep. Or yeah, something to... <laughs> that would be really fun. Actually, <laughs> we should we should do that. Winter winter event pitches are coming up, right? <laughs> or they're already done? Uh, done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the winter I, event ship is the coolest ship I've ever seen. I mean, we still have we still have at least seven more winters, right? Because we're talking about seven more seasons. Well, I mean, the sh the no, show we'll is going to start doing winter twice. This a game year, is going to go winter. on for twenty seven more years. I mean, it is winter twice a year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's we'll start doing Australian uh, winter event. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just we'll just flip the map over. <laughs> Uh, Matthew W. Prime, um, mission. there are some missions in the mission journal, <coughs> specifically the ones that are mentioned in the blog, uh, that will no longer be part of the main story, but will still be accessible. Um, you'll be able to find them either by flying around or in the available missions section. Uh, currently, we've there's a bug where they're not replayable. Um, we're working on fixing that. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, yeah, basically you'll you'll find you'll find those missions either by going to them or by going to the available mission. But there list. also are a few that are temporarily unavailable. Unavailable, yeah, and we've yeah. we've talked about that as well. Um, <clears throat> can we see concept art of the winter ship? Yes, if you come to my desk, I've got it hanging up because the ship is that Just cool. Just remember that if you come on site, you have to sign an NDA, so. and so you can't tell anyone or take right. any pictures. Right, but you can see it. Sure, yeah. Uh, you, you know, I, tell me in advance that you're coming. Are you inviting if players just, to if our you office? Just, well, if you just show up at the front door and, like Mike said, I can see the ship, uh, Jane, <laughs> Jane is not going to let you in. Just, just a heads up. And Jane, uh, Jane she's is gonna, a very dangerous person. She's going to gonna email me and say, uh, yeah, she's part of the Russian mafia. Uh, she'll email me and say, uh, <laughs> this person I don't know and you don't know is here to see the winter ship. Should I let them in? And I'm going to say no. 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 <laughs> so, hey, Jeremy. Winter <laughs> is coming. Yes. So hey Jeremy, but I know nothing about it. What's the uh, what's the update you want to talk about with random TFOs? Well, the main thing is that uh, I kind of just wanted to take over the stream for a bit. Do to it. Thank everybody that has taken the time to give us feedback on Tribble. Like um, yeah, we collated a bunch of it um, the other day, and it's it's really really and good I, feedback. And I kind of realized over the weekend, and it started to crystallize at the beginning of this week that despite us having done a lot of work internally to, to collate all this feedback and and crystallize it and, and put it into forms that we could potentially take action on. We haven't been very good about communicating outwardly to players about like responding to what they're saying. For sure. Um, so I thought it was important that we take an opportunity to do that. Like, first of all, a lot of the feedback that we've gotten for this feature um, has just been great. Yeah, like, really, really helpful. I mean, you know how MMO communities can be, obviously. Yeah, and I do. There's a high chance for how can they be uh, hyperbole and vitriol coming out from this sort of. I thing. think Jeremy's describing it pretty well, Ryan. Oh, okay. But in this particular regard, I'm actually um, very thankful and, uh, well, frankly, sadly, a little impressed <laughs> with how good our players have been this time around. Our community I don't, I don't think rocks, you, I don't think you need to be sad that you're impressed with our, our players. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, you can just enjoy the fact yeah, that okay. our, our players pulled that. through. Let, yeah. Ignore I said that. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I would like to um, hop on that and, and, and echo that sentiment because for the 
um, things that people need like would like to see better taught. Yeah, we want to talk. Um, about, so uh, we we put those threads out up without a lot of explanation, <coughs> um, and I think a lot of people are uh, wondering what the purpose was. Do you want to explain what those were for, Ryan? Uh, so. I mean, because we are trying, we are, like we are looking at tr- trying to get new players in uh, with Age of Discovery. Um, over the next several updates. Yeah, over the next several updates. So, so don't expect to see everything better uh, immediately. Um, but like, I, I, I will be the first to admit that we could do a lot better at how we teach various systems in our game. Yeah. Um, so we want to. Uh, I'm to blame for some of that because I made some of them. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like... It's real easy to understand them when you make them yourself. Yeah. But also, <laughs> like, you know, after seeing the really, like, good um, descriptions that were done for the uh, DS9 battle zones... Yep, and the Romulan yeah. mine, Imperial Minefield. Like, we should have more of that. Like, yep. we should have things that show you exactly where in the UI <laughs> something is... We should take you step by step through the process of doing it. Yep. And and honestly, like, you know, in in you know, we would like to at some point or another even be able to potentially do like, you know, like holodeck missions to like let you become more acquainted with certain uh, things. certain things yeah. without like without just throwing you into the deep end. Yep. Um, but to go back to your original point, like the players know this as well, and they were very. They've been very forthcoming yeah. and good about telling us what, yeah, with, what they feel. We, with a lot yeah. of detail, which we really yeah. appreciate. Because, I mean, with I, good suggestions. And, yeah. and it's one of those things so one where... Of things, if I, sorry, just interrupt for one second. Sure. One of the things about um, our game not being very good at teaching you a lot of concepts, um, a lot of players have really stepped up in that regard, and that is one of the things that I love about our community. Um, mm-hmm. There's there's places like STO Builds and... Um, uh, the uh, academy on our forums and just you know in-game chats and places like that where the community has taken a lot of time to help new players understand and really get into our and game established and, players. Yeah. and established players and it's 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 really wonderful it's one of the things I really love about our community yeah and and it's just one of those things where I mean yes you know in, in a way by by make by putting that question out there you know we are asking you to do our jobs of research for and us. And to tell us where we've screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> but but at the same time, we're really close to all this. Right. Like, so we know how all these systems work. And to us, they're they're just, you well, know, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, but like for the most part, like, we know how all these things work. Yeah. Uh, and it's very easy to forget that we know how these things work because mm-hmm. we've been using these systems so much. I, I can think of a, a really great example just off the top of my head. The skill system that mm-hmm. I overhauled like two years ago, two and a half or so, yeah. yep. was uh, I was so close to it that I know everything about it. And you know that the footer skills that unlock as you spend... I didn't even know that, there, that, that you could click I on them. Totally we just, to we find just recently got a new uh, person on our systems team, yeah. and he was actually talking to me about the skill system and how it was kind of difficult to understand certain things about it. And I pointed to him and he said, oh, I didn't notice what that is. Yeah, I don't either. understand. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that it makes perfect clickable. sense to me. Yeah, yeah. obviously because um, I made it. Yep. But, so I mean, one thing um, to if I can for the trees. I'm you know, show something off, sort of. Um, I'm gonna hide this because. Uh, so one thing that we are going to do in the near term, um, I don't know if how many people know about this. Oops. Uh, hold on. Let me just close this. He doesn't accept friend invites on stream. You guys know this. Um, one thing that we, we, I don't know if you guys know this exists. Um, that's part of the problem. Um, but let's see, screen capture, smart selection. There we go. Uh, so if you look at this, this is a part of the Star Trek Online website. Um, it is the guides section. Um, you may notice that it sucks. <laughs> uh, it, is, it is bad uh, in many ways. It doesn't have a lot of useful information about, I added, um, 10 Forward Weekly on there a while back to show off, you know, what um, mm-hmm. that this is going on, and it's got our patch notes in there, um, but it all it doesn't have, you know, um, lifetime subscription rewards and lifetime subscription, like, there's a lot of stuff, the uniform code, like, it, it's cool, but we don't need that. Right. Uh, stuff like the Trouble test, test Server and Foundry Tutorials are great. I doubt the Foundry Tutorials are up to date. I know the Foundry spot. I had to use to that Triple Test Server page just yesterday. Yeah. What's the uniform um, so we're going to go through this. Um, it's a color coding thing that uh, Thomas put together to help oh, you get the yeah. Canon colors. Um, so That's I'm really cool. I'm currently in the process of talking to um, uh, some of the community members uh, who work on things like this. I'm also in the process of talking of working on some stuff myself. 
um, to kind of update this page, and I don't know how long it's going to take me, I'm going to be updating it a little at a time, um, to include information like how to play certain cues, what, mm -hmm. how to build a good ship, what the different skills mean, that kind of stuff. Um, so that you can go here, uh, and it's not an in-game resource, so it's not as nice as actually teaching you while you play, but at mm -hmm. least that will exist. Well, I mean, um, and then you can... Um, uh, and hopefully it can also serve as a tool for other communities that right. want to teach people about it. Like, okay, well, go see go, this guy. Go look at this first. that'll be a primer, and then right. we'll teach you how to really do well, it. If and we're, we're, we're going to show, show how the sausage is made, um, can I show something on game? Yeah, which, which uh, server? Oh, we just closed the, the, the game. Oh, I thought he just... I thought he had it on... I mean, no, just any it. server. Uh, holodeck? Okay. Show them right <clears> on. <throat> Shouldn't take me long to load in, um, but yeah, I'm. Um, I'm also hoping, and this is something I haven't even talked to Andre about yet, but um, that we can eventually include it when it's done as an in-game resource as well as kind of a like you know here like you know it's somewhere in game. It's like want more help? Go to the STO guide section. Click it takes you to the web page. Yeah. Well, at I, least as a, as a starting feature. Well, what I wanted to do, uh, as, and I'm going to show explain um, as part of my how the sausage gets made. Uh, you ever seen the show How It's Made? Yeah. Yes. Love that show. It's so cool. It's weird but cool. I think was, that's where I learned how chicken nuggets were made. Mm. Well, it's funny because I remember, I like, I was always really curious, like, how locks work because they're such a weird mm -hmm. thing. And uh, despite and not having changed for hundreds of years in locks, like, they, they still, still work. work. Yeah. <laughs> and and then I found, like, one of those types of episodes and I was just like, holy crap. Like, these are yeah. real. Like, I, I still, like, I still get, like, my brain hurts when I think about like uh, skeleton keys because it has to like that means that all of the locks have to really only have like two tumblers that actually matter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, should I log into Doesn't, any character? Any character's fine. Great, because I accidentally already logged into my Klingon. That's fine. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Look at us in that loading screen. Um, when we finish what Ryan's talking about here, though, I wanted to uh, Sorry. in addition to. Sorry, uh, no, it's fine. We all rambled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the the point of talking about the triple feedback is that we haven't been communicating much, and so I did want to take some time to to, to communicate to a few of those. Yeah, yeah. So stick right. around if you're curious. So what are you showing me? All right. I'm gonna just take over if you don't mind. Okay. So you got this chair. Oh yeah. Well, that's really nice. Too. <laughs> um. So one thing that we have There's in our game is this is is this yeah. big little is is this big little question mark? Big little. Big little. Um. And there's this access library computer. And supposedly, like, it's supposed to teach you things. Like, it tells you about movement and, and combat and, mm -hmm. and ground tactics. And and first off, you actually have to click twice to be able to go into it, which is really... Wow, three times. Yeah. Three, times. three times, yeah. It's not... Oh, geez. Yeah, it is. And then you pick a topic. It is not good. Mm -hmm. And I, we have I'm no... i already logged out. <laughs> yeah. And we have no idea, like, if how, like, up-to-date all mm -hmm. of this is. So this is one of the things where I really want to fix this, mm -hmm. you know, get really good backgrounds that explain the concepts better. Mm -hmm. And 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 then once we have it in a good enough spot, then we could say in like the welcome to Star Trek Online, like when you create your character, it says, by the way, if you're ever like unsure of how something works, mm -hmm. you know, you can click on this question mark and, and, and do a thing. Or also link to uh, directly to certain topics right. at certain times. So it's just one of those things where it's like this is the sort of stuff that we're trying to do to but make less complicated and bad than that. Well, no, I mean like no, I mean like, like overhauling that yeah. is, our, is like what we're trying to do in order to I mean, yes, people who are who've been with the game for, you know, for for years already know all that stuff and probably don't care. Yeah. But these are all things that we we're trying to make the game as as friendly as possible and inviting as possible and you know it's you know we're, we're not we're not going to take away from time of making new content we're not going to take away from mm -hmm. from you know trying to you know keep the game you know fun for the you know for, for our Active, players new events yeah. but but it's th little things like that that we we hope can like bring the game into the you know 25th century yeah <laughs> oh, oh i see what you did there yeah all right uh, so yeah, so Jeremy, you wanted to respond to feedback a little bit, and we cut you off with lots no, of things. No, I think I decided things. I won't. Well, did, did our <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of responding to feedback, did our players say anything interesting? Uh, <laughs> well, interesting is it? No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, is Age of Discovery free? Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, Age of Discovery, Age of Discovery is very Discovery free. will be free. Yes. Uh, hello, um, Burlington, North Carolina. I hope you're doing okay after that giant storm. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, J.E., those pages are so outdated, just like the things in the guide. 
Um, the, the stuff that Ryan was just talking about, I'm, I'm pretty certain they haven't been touched in at least three yeah. years. Uh, Nepshake90, I'll ask Jeremy this question, but I'm going to guess the answer is no. Uh, are you ready for a question you're probably going to say no so to, Jeremy? Yes. All right. Can the pilot the in command no. seats for the T6 Akira and T6 Prometheus respectively get switched around because they don't seem to ship, fit the ship's themes? The short answer is no. Okay. Um, the longer answer is that um, maybe we'll make that version of the ship or another ship like it in the future. Like, that that's how we do. Yeah. We don't design every ship to be the, the perfect answer for, for everybody. Everything's got its pros and cons, and uh, it leaves us room to release newer and more interesting ships. It's yeah. pros and... Cons! Exactly. That's how I said it in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's just not okay. a, not you. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, down to feedback. Okay, where do you want to start? Where do you yeah. want to start? I've got a whole list. Well, let's, go. Fire off your list. Let me let's see your list. start no, at no. the very beginning. It's a very good it's place, a very to, place start. to start. <laughs> I'll beat you to it. Damn it. Uh, okay, so... Um, you start, start at the top. I don't know which is more important right um, now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get to the top. Right. Uh, let's talk about uh, number three on this list, which is... Um, I didn't put numbers on that list. Where I can count... <laughs> That's how. Uh, there's been some some <coughs> feedback that people feel like the rewards are not um, high enough to uh, represent the amount of content they may or may not be playing. That is not starting TFO. at the very beginning. I didn't. So I said I wouldn't. To, to random TFOs. Yeah, random course. TFOs. Yeah, sorry. Um, so the first bit of feedback that I would respond to that, and I don't want to sound flippant or dismissive, but this uh, about this, but remember that those are additional. Like any TFO that you do play and complete, you also get the rewards for that were actually designed for the TFO. And no, 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 no Jeremy, that sounds pretty flippant and dismissive. I, I just want to make sure that people understand <laughs> that the, the <laughs> rewards from the random TFOs aren't. That's not. That's not all you get. Yeah. That's what you get in addition to the rewards you would have otherwise gotten as well. Okay. That said, uh, I do definitely understand the the remark about time investment yeah, yeah. in certain queues potentially not being worth it. We've seen this in in previous. Uh, analytics gathering, things like that. Certain queues, uh, sorry, certain TFOs mm. take a long time to run and uh, as in terms of like rewards per minute or rewards per second are rather low on the scale, much lower than in some cases than we would rather have in the game. And the random TFO prize is actually intended to offset that to some degree. Um, so I guess in the, in the long term what I'm trying to say here is yeah, we understand but we're probably not going to be making any large sweeping changes before this goes live, which is another reason that I kind of wanted to come on the stream and talk yeah. about this, because if we aren't responding to this feedback and we're not making any changes, yeah. it looks like they're just speaking into a void. What up, Al? I'd oh. rather that not. Do you, want to, do you want to climb into the... There's not really room for you, but you can try and crowded. squat behind. You, you can, like, lay across us. It's very crowded. <laughs> There, yeah, know. it's a pretty small space. I can, I can swap out if you want to uh, if okay. you want to be Ryan Levitt's senior content designer. You can... want to make sure you guys you... had enough. Can you see me up here? No, no. not in the slightest. <laughs> Are you going to break my green screen, Alex? It's, it, it's not easy. For those of you who can't see, because we're using a green screen, Alex is currently behind oh, the green screen. Oh, now he's ah, breaking everything. It's, oh, it's a terror in the time-space continuum. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being a green screen. Yeah. <laughs> So this is Al, our lead designer and, and uh, definite professional, everyone. Lead shenanigan, aren't uh, All right, so what the hell were you saying, Jeremy? I don't um, even know anymore. Uh, oh, so we're taking a, a close look at the rewards. We are monitoring closely. Um, one, of the one of the things, one of our goals of doing the whole random TFO system is to get more information about more, random, uh, about more TFOs so that we can analyze that data and make a lot of changes, yeah. including rewards, including changing the gameplay, including potentially even retiring TFOs yeah. that just don't... And not just for it. random TFOs. If we look at the data and see, like, a AQ is being, like, taking players, uh, you know, 45 minutes to play, but it rewards yeah. 15 marks, we're, yeah. we're going to change that. And it's possible that there's even out some out there that are flat out bugged. Yeah. They're just not rewarding correctly. Or mm -hmm. broken um, entirely, which, right. um, as, as it says on your list here, most of those we've already taken out. Um, yeah. Uh, so I have seen reports. Uh, the only one that comes to mind that needs to be mentioned that we fixed is Azure Nebula. Yep. Like, that has definitely been fixed it's no longer bort <laughs> um but there's a number of other cues it's no that longer have, right there's a number of other uh, tfos that people have complained about like uh, oh if i get put into this one it's just a, a lever penalty i'm yeah. just going to take it i'd say all of those that i've seen other than azure nebula mentioned by name aren't part of the random tfos anyway so there you go so a lot of that just is either i, I guess it's poorly communicated on my part that they weren't, weren't going to be yeah. viable Things like the competitive queues or fleet queues or 10-man queues. Anything that has requirements. Yeah. So shuttle queue. And yeah. And anything that has an EV queues, suit. EV suit queues. Yeah. Anything yeah. that has a requirement to work. Kind We're not going to have any first. TFOs. 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 <laughs> TFOs. <laughs> TFOs. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, 
What about the concern of playing with inexperienced players, Jeremy? This is number two on your list. Yeah, I, I mean, there's not a lot of bullet points on my list there because that already happened. That already yeah. happens. That's what every that's what every TFO already is. Yeah. yeah. Unless if you know, unless you're playing with an established group that you play all the time, which right? you can continue to do. Yeah. I mean, you can actually random queue. Uh, ran, you can enter randoms, I believe, as a team. Yeah. I never really understood that concern because that's that's how that's how TFOs work now. And right? and to be fair, well, I, I everyone, that concern, everyone has been new to a TFO at yes. some point right. or another. Well, and it's not like I, I don't. There are some points where you can lose some response. Yeah. Like if you're playing elite. Um, with a new person, I can see how that'd be frustrating if you lose some optional objections. But there's objections. no new people. Random, yeah. random. But random doesn't do. A yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But okay. I mean, like, I'm just gonna, I'm sit down that's fine. Go for that's it. That's fine. You look I mean, you're tall. Oh, yeah, just yeah. a nice armrest there. <laughs> oh man, that's the. Uh, that is. That is a, the smell uh, of community. All right. Uh, so Jeremy, number one on your list. Uh, why are we not splitting ground in space? Here, you can have all your bullets. Because I don't feel like it. No. Um, <laughs> so first of all, on that subject, that was a soundbite. You're welcome, Internet. Yeah. Um, first of all, on that subject, I want to say that we are investigating some of the, the feedback on this. Specifically, we definitely understand the pain, the, the pain point of not being able to properly set up your, your builds, mm -hmm. your, your spec traits, your, your uh, I'm sorry, your traits and your specializations. Spec traits sounds like a spec science traits. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and uh, that's a problem. That's an obvious problem, and we definitely do want to fix it. We don't have a plan in place that will allow us to address this prior to season 15. Yeah. Um, so for the time being, we're going to, we want you to know that we're looking into it and we do understand that. And you know, I, know, I know the, there's the um, general feeling of when we say we're looking into something that that means we're not actually looking into it. We just want to mollify you. That is not the case. It's no, almost never the no, case when was, I say that. There was a very but that's, huge email thread about yeah. that and how we were going to like, There were several email threads that I'm involved with, and Jeremy's yeah. been like, doing we, a lot we, of brainstorming. We genuinely and, want this to be a good experience for yeah. you all, um, because otherwise there's no point in making it if it's exactly. not going to be a good experience. Um, I mean, it all comes down to trying to expand and, and add variety. We're yeah. not trying to do so for the sake of pain. Like, there's there's a, a minority in our in our game uh, player base that just think we're trying to make the game harder to play, but that serves nobody. Yeah, and, especially not us. And again, with 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 a, a large push with Age of Discovery to bring in new players, they're going to want to try out the TFOs that a lot of our yeah. veteran players have played a bajillion times and don't queue for. Right. Yeah. And we want to be able to give them a chance <laughs> to actually find another four people who will play with them. So they can queue up for something, yeah. and then the random TFO can put you into that, it. That is actually my favorite thing that this, pro this mm -hmm. system solves, is the idea of, well, I can never play, say, I don't know, by the sword, because nobody ever queues for it. Brotherhood well, of the Sword. Brotherhood yeah. of the Sword, yeah. Because, <clears throat> you just, well, as you saw in the, when we did the stream, we did the stream and we tested this mm -hmm. on Triple with players. I mean, I was able to get into six different queues in the space of an hour, yeah. which I've never been able to do. So yeah. Right. That's, that's the point of the feature. I, yeah. I also remember, remember that we're not taking away anything. From anyone. Yeah, you, you can still pick play, your uh, We're taking away some bad TFOs. We're taking, we're away, we're taking away stuff that no one wanted to play anyway because right. it was broken. Yeah. But the, the, we're not taking away any functionality. People can yeah. play their TFOs the way they used to. They yeah, can, in they fact, can, for, they for can people that don't want to do randoms, yeah. I think this will actually still benefit them. And that's the intent. Is yeah, does. because if you just pick something that you want to do, it'll more likely populate. Yeah. Right. That's the whole system. So you are, if to choose random, you are giving up. Um, choice for bonus rewards mm -hmm. and if you don't want that then you can continue to play the way you've always has been so we want this as an opportunity to help people who who uh, want to play something that doesn't pop this system mm -hmm. you know the system mitigates that and and reward people for doing it yeah yeah and also there's stuff that I haven't played for years yeah. many many years I'm sure the stuff people most people haven't even played before and this will expose it yep. and there's some good stuff out there and it's meant to get you to play things that to show how robust this is as opposed to playing the same five that you've always played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, SFC 100, in response to your question, uh, stay tuned for next week. We'll have more info on that uh, on next week's stream once we've made some announcements. What's the question? Uh, I'm not going to repeat it on the air because okay. that for that reason. Um, <laughs> and they, people can look in the Twitch chat if they want to know what I'm responding to. I want to know. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, okay. Was there anything else you wanted to cover on your list, Jeremy? Other than we're listening and we're fixing well, things. Well, it was, a, it was a separate note, but I think I already covered it. That, um, there have been some... Uh, undesirable TFOs are are being retired through a, a course of this upgrade yeah. process. So if um, we find stuff that's just bad, we're gonna get rid of it or we're, rework it. We're just gonna replace their skybox with the uh, one from uh, the new Starfleet Academy because we're sunsetting them as well. Ryan, we should have gotten rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I, I guess that's about it. There's a lot more. I wrote down some like design philosophy. That's boring. None, yeah. of, none, none of you want to hear. So that. you want to talk about reps now? Uh, that's well, if people have questions about reps, I, I saw a question for Al who's about to leave, oh. so I should ask that real quick. Um, Horiant wants to know, now that STO is moving to main story missions and side story missions, uh, would you add additional side story missions in the future? I think you've answered that already on the stream, but go ahead. You mean things like Beyond the Nexus? Would we, add, would we add side stories, things that aren't part of the main story oh, in the future? Oh, adding more one-off missions. Here, let me, let me scoot down here. I mean, I thought we don't talk about future content. <laughs> we talk about potential future content. Well, every, um, everything is potential. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean... Pe Captain, yeah, that wasn't a pun. Captain Pedantry, get out of here. No, that, no I'm saying... <laughs> no, it was pedant no, it, it, pedantic. I'm saying that, you know, the, the, the space is the limit. It, it is It is fair that pretty much whenever you're serious, you must say that it wasn't a pun because yeah. for the most part, everyone everything assumes is that is the default mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for Ryan. Um, well, yeah, of course we'll be making side content. It is not something we do a lot of because it's... Um, it throws off our flow of our mission, right? You, it's if you're if you're if you're if you're watching a television show and it's like stay tuned for next week for this episode and then it, and you tune in and it's about something entirely different. You're like, damn, I just really want to know what happened. To Although my counter to that is those one-off episodes in a lot of TV shows have sometimes been some of my favorite episodes of all they time. They are great. As, as I'm not making an argument to not <laughs> do them. I'm making an argument that we keep them that they're we don't do them all the time. I don't know. The, the, the Samurai Champloo zombie the, episode and Baseball Bliss were both really terrible. Yeah. So, I would argue so, that the only reason that they made the cut to inter, 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 uh, sect inside of an ongoing story is because they're so good. Yeah, like they so, have to meet a higher bar. So, so we will continue to do those at, at you know at a you know every so often. Hey, we've got this great idea. We want to do this one off episode. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Absolutely, just just do that. You know, stuff, stuff like too, Survivor and release, Beyond the Nexus yeah. were like that. It was like we got this great story. We need to tell it somewhere. It fits here, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there's no reason. There's there's. It's just if we have an idea and something that works, we put it there. If it's um, whenever we do a releases, too, we like to theme our releases, right? We like mm -hmm. the theme of the lockbox gets themed, the content gets themed, the rewards get themed, the queues get themed to go around it, EFOs, excuse me. <laughs> um, and so everything is kind of themed. So so having a one off sometimes it's probably better off to do outside of the season. Yeah, when mm -hmm. it's released. And, and it, you know, as we're um, uh, one of the things that we haven't talked about a lot yet, but I know I've mentioned before, as we're moving into this. Um, sort of qua kind of new era of content production that we're doing um you know instead of doing uh seasons um the way we used to we're starting to move into age of discovery as more of an ongoing story which means you'll see releases of episodes and um tfos and other things uh outside of the major content drops um so like you know after age of discovery um without giving too much away there's a new tfo coming a few months after that um, which I won't give an official date on or any details on right now, but that's that's coming down the line, mm -hmm. um, and that'll that'll get released um, outside of our you know big <coughs> release with episodes, winter event, anniversary, big release thing that we used to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, another thing about side episodes is that I mean, unless it's using existing assets, like they can get really expensive uh, if they don't have be just because of bang for buck. Um, I mean, the reason Beyond the Nexus worked was because we wanted to honor. Uh, you know TNG, and we were making the galaxy yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was like, here's a mission that lets you enjoy like the interior of the galaxy. We also had Jordy coming back for another yep. story that we were doing. Right. Anyway, so, so, it was a so great I mean, opportunity to use that. Like we definitely want to do the side the, the side episodes, I and mean, we have tons of one off episode ideas. It's just a matter of, you know, will it fit within the budget, and will it fit within the time period? You know, what's an episode that was made almost entirely with with um. Uh, I don't want to say old stuff, but content that we'd made before, Quark's Lucky Seven, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is kind of a one-off in that it's it's a it, it still f advances the main story, but it's you know, and I, I think there's lots of opportunities. And we're um, using we all do. of those old assets. Yeah. Made that in an episode really really easy and quick to make. Yeah, right? <laughs> super easy. <laughs> no, it allowed us to. But I mean, there's other areas. <laughs> there's lots of stories we can tell. Um, you know, we don't have to make a new Zen Kathy or Herc for every story arc we go to. There's lots of stories we can tell with the Borg, with the Fakiri, with um, all, the Iconians, with all kinds of interesting alien races that already exist in our Star Trek Online. And I think we do understand those opportunities, and I think you'll see stories like that a lot in the future. More Defiri. 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 Close enough. Balance. Yeah, I was, was going to say, you got to really balance their appearances. 
They're the systems designers of the Star Trek universe. Yeah. Balance, balance is everything. No wonder I dislike them. So. <laughs> they're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the neutrals from Futurama. Right. Yeah. They create. No tell my wife. One way or tell tell my wife. wife hello. hello. <laughs> they're, they're the race yeah. that created the the races that were white on one side and black on the other, and then black on one side and white on yeah, the other. Actually, they probably. Um, were just because it's been posted in Twitch chat well, so many times, I, I have to pass on this suggestion. Uh, Nebshake ninety would like us to replace all broken TFOs by bringing back Children of Khan. Uh, just so that's out there. I don't, I don't that remember that? if that actually existed. I, I've, I've been there accidentally on stream before. I was like, oh, I'll just go to this map. It looks fun. And everyone was like, that's cut content. I've never seen it before. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's you, 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 you don't You don't want that content. <laughs> you don't. I mean, you might want a content that has that name. But you, or don't, you don't want, want that content. Was based loosely was based on the ideas that, that, that were idea, originally But pitched. you don't want that content. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about 10-year-old stuff. Yeah, that's and that's exactly what we're trying to, to avoid. To avoid and update and remove is ten and it's not that stuff. it's not that we're specifically like, oh, it's ten years old, so it must suck. No, we're just yeah. better at making games. Frankly, we can yeah. do better, we have better tools. That. I mean, it's sort of like well, how like we, 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 we took the no in scenario and then made the the Kogashi Kogashi and, and yeah. Arena Sompak. Like yeah. they're they, they were us trying to take old content and and add a new modern touch. to Or it. like what we were talking about earlier with how um, we've taken the original Federation tutorial and done a lot of updates with our new tools like mm -hmm. Weston's cutscenes that we well, talked about that yeah. make it really, really cool for the Discovery tutorial. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, on that, on this subject, an idea of what we used to do versus what we're going to do, just wait for Age of Discovery to see yeah. the, the yeah, huge, yeah. it's, and, and we've been having meetings where we've been showing uh, videos of old and busted and new hotness side by side. It's like, holy moly, how, you know, yeah. you can see that, you know, just, mm -hmm. just, you and just and you put characters next to each other from, from old characters next to how they look now. New amazing. characters. Our art team is insane. They're yeah. off the freaking so. charts. All right, well, folks, it's been um, yeah, you know two I, hours. I, My I, butt hurts. I'm gonna do a little, um, I'm do a little spoiler thing. Do a little spoiler thing. Is here. it the audio thing that I was did. already put online? No. Yeah, but I got more. Is oh. that more audio? Put, which one did we put? We up put there? the woo one before. Woo. The woo. Yeah. woo. The, the chief, chief engineer. I got. How about this one? We do this one. <clears throat> yep. I don't know. I don't know. We've only done one, so. Put it okay. by the mic. Yeah, yeah put it I'm over gonna, here. I'm gonna, I just want to make sure this is the right. All right, so this is, this is more Tilly, folks. It sounds a little underwater. But... Yeah. Okay, we, we need... Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. My engine room. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. That. That's so good. That's did you guys hear that? Yeah, uh, I'm sure they did. All right. If not, we could potentially also put that one on. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I specifically just, just don't just want it out stream. there. Yeah, just for the stream. Just for the stream. Uh, right. they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll, exclusively they'll, they'll, for you. Exclusively yeah. for They're you. They're totally gonna There will it. be. There will be. Uh, cool. All right. Well, thanks yeah. for joining us, guys. Um, and until next week, may the f oh shit. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.